All right, guys, so I started reading the comments on the Prius 5 Pro Enhanced Games that you guys want to see, which is The Last of Us Part 1. That is one that I didn't think of. I was thinking that maybe everybody wants to see The Last of Us Part 2, but I guess the story really turned a lot of people off, so that's a game that we're probably not going to choose. We're going to choose The Last of Us Part 1, Spider-Man 2, Gran Turismo 7, they say Demon Souls looks even better. Uh, me personally, when it comes to those kind of games, I'm not really that good at them. I could play them, but um, they become really frustrating. Like, for instance, I, I was playing Silent Hill 2, and I played it for one day, about 2 hours and 45 minutes. I like the game. I'll get back into it. But yesterday, when I jumped into a little Call of Duty and then Gran Turismo 7, I was quite impressed how they were able to remember my birthday, and I got a Maserati green Maserati for my birthday and then I got the birthday cake so that was uh, quite interesting I really liked that presentation that left me kind of questioning how would they know and I was just it, it just left an impression that I didn't think a video game would go that far but it did so that was awesome I look forward to the uh, PS5 Pro the, the console itself because I know we have to wait for the PS6 but I think if PS5 Pro is going to wow us how the Xbox One X wowed everybody when it came out and how it was just like so much better then I, I would I would uh, bank on the PlayStation 6 being a powerhouse it has to compete with the 5090 because the 5090 when that launches it's going to be a beast a bulldozer i said it on the last video and the 5090 is going to be doing all kinds of things compared to console gaming so ps6 has to have that same intent you know when they come out with the ps vita 2 i heard that there's uh, it's in production they're making the little handhelds with the switch 2 there's going to be the playstation version of the vita 2 and then there's going to be the xbox version of the handheld so these handhelds have to be able to be on par with what the switch 2 is going to be bringing because the switch 2 is going to sell a lot let's get into the tesla robot i'm really excited about the tesla robot because the tesla robot in my opinion is something that we haven't seen before as humans to be able to uh, obtain and you know with elon and his team achieving this kind of stuff you know my wife already said my beautiful wife that elon is intelligent and you know he's going to be a trillionaire by the time this robot is in everybody's households you know because people are going to buy this item they're, they're probably saving the money to get this item first day day one you're going to see people strolling around with a robot in stores or just in general just like how we buy cars they're going to buy the robots uh we're going to have one my wife wants to name him steven i i think his name should be rick but i i don't know right now because everything is just all new to us but i really think it's going to be interesting when we start asking him questions or her i i don't know and then we try to figure out exactly what is their goal for the uh, how long the lifespan the robot is and you know it, will the robot actually um, take offense to um, you know being rude and all that stuff speaking about the Tesla robot there's a Tesla right in front of me right now and you know this is um, we're living in a time in our life now where we just are innovating uh, experiencing these kind of things that we didn't have in mind 10 20 years ago so now to be able to have the robot and plus you know with me being 45 now it's time for me to have a robot so I can uh, have him take care of some things around the house that I would normally take care of so my wife can go on with her stuff and that's important so the Tesla robot is definitely gonna play a huge factor in um, everything in my opinion I really think it's gonna be um, amazing when when the robot cooks if it plays an instrument you know um, it will basically do the, the stuff around the house and it won't feel like it's you know 
like being mistreated, you know, all the things. I mean, I'm just going to be fascinated just to talk to it and, uh, you know, wake up every morning before I go to work and just talk to it, talk to my wife and just try to figure out, you know, what what is the robot um, capable of doing today, you know? And uh, my wife also said that it's just something that would be really interesting to take along with us on our day trips or just just anything you know um and, and just i don't know it's just it's amazing i think it's amazing it, it's like people are already fascinated because they're talking to a robot they said you know what i mean so uh to be able to talk to a robot is quite interesting we'll, we'll see how that plays out um i think it's coming out in 2026 the year 2026 so we have to wait we have to wait a full year but that gives us enough time to prepare for the um the purchase of the robot you know what i mean so with that being said i'm really really excited about the tesla robot uh there's other robots that are out there right now too but i just feel like these robots the other ones i i would rather go with the tesla one because if elon musk made it then it must be great it must be great you know what i mean so um that being said PS5 Pro, that's right around the corner. We got Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I got a couple, I got one guy that wants me to call out from work on that day. I, I can't do that, man. I, I just can't because I got I got a responsibility. So, um, yeah, we're going to still enjoy those games, but I, I, can't, I can't take that day off because I got to work. Uh, with that being said, the PlayStation 5 Pro, it's already got two terabytes of storage. It's already got three times the ray tracing. They're saying it's RDNA 4. And it's got the computing. It's got the memory. And then it has the upscaling with the PSSR pisser. So those are three things that we will appreciate because as people have stated that as the technology evolves, so does the AR upscaling. So it learns, it gets better. It's, it's just, it does a better job at everything. It gets better every year. So that's something interesting. I'm going to buy the the day one model. Uh, didn't sell out, I don't think. Someone said it might have sold out on the Sony Direct, but we don't know for sure. Um, oh, let's talk about the apparel. So my smoking beautiful wife and her godchild is going to be working on the apparel. So I had it wrong. I thought it was my godchild only, but my wife is working on the project as well. Um, she's the main uh, boss of the whole, the whole project, but we want everything to be perfect. So when you guys are interested in the apparel, it will be there and at the same time, it's just exciting because we're going to have the PS5 Pro next month. It's right around the corner. Uh, I think we'll be getting it November 7th. So I got to pick mine up at GameStop November 7th. I'm excited about that. I wanted the 30th anniversary, but that is laid to rest because there's nothing I could do. I'm not going to spend a couple thousand dollars on a PS5 Pro. I'm not, I'm not paying a scalper twice or three, four times as, much, as, as the amount of money. That's not happening. They, they could keep that. Um, someone that buys it and they have the money, that's that's them. I, I'd rather save up for a Tesla robot than buy a 30th anniversary PlayStation 5 because let, let's let's be real, when the PlayStation 6 is uh, announced, when it's released, this whole PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be, the nostalgia is always going to be there, but it's going to be forgotten about. It's not going to be as... Um, as important as it was from day one so that's something that we don't have to worry about and at the same time all the games as they start coming out i don't i'm i'm, I'm like I, I know ghost of yatuya whatever you want to call it they're already saying that it's going to be a game that's going to be a woman protagonist which was in the first game and it's going to be I, I don't know i mean you know maybe maybe like, see Everyone's always saying it's a woke ideology, but if we let it just, if we just let it, give it a shot, maybe it might be a good game, I don't know, you know, um, 
uh, a rather rather heavy uh, Assassin's Creed samurai being uh, a black man than you know a woman in the game. I mean, it, I'm not against any of these genders. I just I don't know. Like we have to just understand that there has to be some kind of equality. I think that's what they're trying to get at in these games. But anyways, let's go back to the PS5 Pro. So the PS5 Pro, you know, I'm probably not going to be getting GTA 6. That's just not the kind of game that I play. And that game, in my opinion, is going to be degrading, raunchy. Um, you know, Rockstar is going to sell a ton of these games in day one. Everyone's going to buy it. Everyone's going to buy a PS5 Pro just for this game. That's that's the whole selling point. You know, um, I I don't I don't see the excitement for the Series X and the the game because the PlayStation 5 Pro they're saying is going to be the best way to play the game. So here we go again. And now the PC players have to wait two years. In two years, my robot will be able to play the game better and be further in the game than the the PC players once they get it. So you know the PC players, they're going to buy a PlayStation 5 Pro secretly, not say that they own one, and then play the game. You know, why would they wait two years? That's two years of their lives that they got to wait because of a decision that the developers made. Because they're working on the Pro. They, they realize that the PS5 Pro is everything they want. I, I, I hope that they would give the fans the 60 FPS, even 40 FPS or 45 something, something, you know, because by the time the PC version comes out, everyone's going to be done with, well, they'll still be playing the game, but it's just like now the PC guys are introduced. They're going to be furious because they have to start all from scratch. And um, that's just the way it is. Like, I saw the, the video with Alex Battaglia talking about the Silent Hill 2, and what strikes me is that even when he's using his most uh, advanced rig with the latest CPU, the latest GPU, he's still pointing out imperfections, and you know, I, I know he's basically saying it's the developers that decided to include these kind of uh, defects in the game. And it's like, but wait a minute, if you have all this power you're working with, why can't you fix all this stuff? And I, and I think I think the reason being is just rushed development. I, I believe that it's Konami. I believe that Bloober Team, they do a great job, but when Konami wants this game released, then yeah, it's it probably sold a lot. I bought it, you know, I bought the game. Um, everybody's buying the game, and it's one of those things that the game is uh, a popular for fans, but when 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 you in the beginning when I was playing the game and you're walking through the trail pathway to get to the Silent Hill, the fog, it just looked horrible with the stutter, with the frame lag. I mean, this is Konami. Konami is supposed to be a name brand that excellence it performs excellence and that's when Hideo Kojima was there and you know every single game like Metal Gear Solid 3 I would expect to be optimized to the uttermost no exceptions you know um, and with that being said when it comes to Metal Gear Snake Eater Delta Force whatever you want to call it um, that game has to Overperform. It has to be good. Plus, it's going to be better on the PS5 Pro Enhanced. So, we get the PS5 Pro. We test it out. We're going to be playing the games. I, I want to see the ray tracing on the Gran Turismo. I want to see how much better is it as opposed to the PlayStation 5. Because I will compare both. And my honest opinion is I'll probably be playing all my games on the PS5 Pro. It comes with two terabytes right off the bat, and then I have a four terabyte storage system. So that's a total of like five and a half terabytes I could add to my gaming. So then I could download the games that I truly want. I already told you guys I was thinking about getting the eight terabytes. I kind of wish Sony never introduced the 30th anniversary because I think that that distraction just changed everything. I, I think that distraction changed everything because it made me want to get that like I had to get that and now that I got the standard edition it's it's okay because you know what it still is uh the new PlayStation like 
to go back to the original PlayStation logo, um, it, yeah, it would have been cool, but it just wasn't meant to be. It was just too much money, and you know, I'm trying to pay all my bills off, so the the, the standard one's fine. It does the same thing as everything else. It, it, you know, I would be upset if it only had one terabyte, where the, the the 30th anniversary has two. You know, so then I could add, and if I want to in the future, I can save up a little money and then get the eight terabyte storage, and that will be the ultimate game changer because most of the games that I want to play with the community and fans and friends will be on that storage. So in the meantime, um, just having a little fun yesterday playing Call of Duty, but maybe tonight I will jump back into Silent Hill. I need to get back into the apartments to try to figure out exactly what do I do next in the game, and that's something I'm going to have to get used to. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you hit the like button, comment. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, share the video. I'll see you guys on the next one.